Hi, I'm Mark Pillsbury, Senior Editor at Cruising World Magazine. We're here this morning at the Newport International Boat Show in Newport, Rhode Island, and we're on the Passport Vista 515. The boat was designed by Bob Perry, built in China, and uh, has just a gorgeous interior that Tom Wagner, the fellow behind Passport Yachts and his associates, put together. Uh, Tom, maybe this morning you could give us a quick walk through the boat and show us some of the points that make the uh, Passport just an outstanding blue water cruiser. Mark, I'd be happy to do that. One of our main criteria is uh, safety at sea, uh, speed, and customization of the boat inside and out to fit all of our clients' needs and desires. The uh, Passport Vista 515 is designed for the cruising couple. Uh, so everything is led back to the cockpit and everything is very simple to operate. If you look on the uh, port side, you'll notice that there's an electric winch there which runs the working jibs, so you do not use the primaries when you're sailing the boat in regular conditions. On the starboard side, there's another electric winch which drives the uh, mainsail in and out. So again, everything is back here in the cockpit and easy to handle. When you get off the wind or and you're in light, in, light air um, situations, the electric primaries do come into use and that is used with the forward sail. The uh, rear part of the cockpit is where the uh, mainsail handling is dealt with and you have winches on port or starboard, both electric again, and all of your instruments are within easy reach. There's a complete array of uh, instruments around the cockpit. You have uh, radar, chart plotter, autopilot controls, bow thrusters, and of course depth, wind, speed. All of the uh, navigation lights and uh, on-deck lights are controlled from the cockpit so you don't have to go down below. So it's a very clean, comfortable, and safe offshore cockpit. Every interior is custom designed for each of our owners, so they reflect the unique style and uh, needs of each of our clients. This particular owner wanted a large dining table that then converted into a small cocktail table and they wanted a, this to convert into a double sleeping berth. So it does all three of those things very easily and quite uniquely. Notice on the starboard side of the boat there's a, a table on the center of two chairs. Uh, that's our cordial area. When uh, we're doing offshore work, this table removes and goes in a, a nice little designated storage space for it and becomes a uh, starboard sea berth for the uh, offshore work. Our nav stations are set up for serious offshore work. Uh, you'll notice that there's a, quite an array of uh, instruments and a full set of uh, circuit breakers on the panel. This nav station is forward facing. It's got a good sized panel for laying out your charts and all of the instruments, including radar, single sideband, all of your depth sounders, VHF radio, are all easily within reach. you notice that the galley area is a walkthrough and it's very, very large with a lot of counter space. Uh, one of the things that's important to us and to this particular client was the ability to cook gourmet meals. So there is a tremendous amount of locker space, 13 cubic feet of refrigerator and freezer space, microwave ovens, stoves, the whole list of things that you would normally find in your home. This is the owner stateroom aft. You'll notice that the berth is a king size berth. There are a tremendous amount of lockers and access to the owner's uh, head on the uh, port side of the boat, which is also a double walkthrough into the main salon. Okay, we're in the uh, guest cabin now, which also has a uh, king size berth. Lots of ventilation. This uh, cabin also has an in-suite head with separate shower stall. So your guests uh, have the opportunity to live in great luxury aboard. One of the beauties of the Passport Vista 515 is what we call the Solent Rig. You'll notice that there are twin roller furlers up forward. The inner roller furler is set up for the working jib, which runs on the uh, self-tending traveler just forward of the mast. The forward roller furler is set up for the off-the-wind or light air sail. The beauty of this rig is you don't have to carry any sails down below or do any sail changes. There's also the option to have a storm jib attachment uh, on the foredeck as well. Tom, thanks for uh, taking us through the boat. Any last thoughts you want to leave with the, uh, the viewers? No, just uh, if you have any uh, further questions, feel free to contact us at www.passportyachts.com or call us at 410-263-0008 and happy sailing to everyone. I was about to say it's a beautiful boat and about the only thing better than walking through it would be to go for a sail. There you go. Come on down. Thanks.